So one of the ways to reach to the high availability concept is by load balancing the incoming traffic. So by using the Nginx, we're going to reach this approach. So stick with me to find out what I mean by this. What's up guys, Minim Guy here and in this video we'll see how to load balance the incoming requests using Nginx as a Docker container, load balancing between two node applications, also running as a Docker containers. So let's get down to work. So we have many algos for load balancing and if you are interested in this, I'll just put a link to an article describing all the load balancing techniques and telling all the load balancing techniques and describing them. So the first thing that I want to do is running my application into different containers. So in order to do this, I'll just go ahead and duplicate the node proxy Docker directory, which includes all the files to the node.js application, including the Docker file and the Docker compose file. So I'll copy and paste in the same directory, just I'll put a dash two at the end. So the next thing, I'll just go ahead and change the prefetch function passed as a middleware and I'll just console log request to instance one. I'll go ahead and save the file and next I'll do the same for the second JS file, just I'll rename it to the instance two. So I have two totally different directories, which I'll just go ahead and run the node application. So I have two terminals over here, one inside the instance one directory and one inside the second instance directory. So I'll just go ahead and change the port number for the second instance. So I'll just nano the Docker compose file and change the 3000 port to 3001. So and save the file and I'll just simply say docker compose up. So one of my instances is successfully running and in the other directory again I'll just go ahead and say docker compose up. So I have a instance running in both 3000 and 3001 port. If I want to check I'll just go ahead and hit the localhost 3000, I'll see that the request to instance one logged successfully to the output. And if I go to 3001, I'll see that the log has been successfully logged to the second instance. So I have two different node applications running on different ports. So the next thing that I need to do is create an Nginx container and load balancing between my two instances. So in order to do this, I'll just go ahead and create another directory called nginx-load-balancer. So I'll just go ahead and copy the docker compose file inside the Nginx directory that I just created and I'll just go ahead and make the required changes. So I'll change the service name to the Nginx and also change the image to the Nginx. So the file that I need to mount inside the container is the Nginx configuration file, which needs to be passed to the etc slash Nginx directory inside the container. So I'll just go ahead and mount the nginx.conf file, which I'm going to create right ahead to the slash etc slash nginx slash nginx.conf. So this will map the nginx.conf file, which I'm just going to create right now to the slash etc slash nginx slash nginx.conf file inside the container. So the port that I'm just going to expose is 9999 to 9999 inside the container. And that's it. Our work here is done. And next thing, I'll just create a new file called nginx.conf. 
So inside this, I need to configure my upstream servers and load balance between those servers. So I'll just create a HTTP block and inside this, I'll have a upstream block and I'll name it as the node app. And inside this, I'll need to define my upstream servers. So I'll just go ahead and say server. I'll put my IP and pass the 3000 port for the first one. And again, another server, this time 3001 for the second instance. So next thing, I need to create a server block. And inside this, I'll say, listen on port 9999, which is going to be mapped to the outside world. So I'll say location slash, which will be a proxy pass to the HTTP node app. So at the end, I need to pass an event block. So I'll say, event which is going to be empty so i'll hit save and i'm now ready to deploy my nginx container so i'll hit ls and i'll cd into my nginx directory and here i'll have my docker compose file so i'll say docker compose up this is going to create my nginx container and as we see it has successfully run the container so in another terminal, if I just go ahead and curl port 9999, I'll see that the requests are being load balanced between the both instances of the node application. So I'll just go ahead and say curl localhost port 9999. I'll see that the request has been sent to the instance one and if i do that again i'll see that the request has been sent to the second instance again if i do the requests i'll see that the requests are successfully being load balanced between the two instances so i hope you get the idea and of course there are more to learn and if you have any questions or if you want me to go deeper in this just go ahead and ask me in the comment sections down below and I hope you learned something new in this video and thanks for watching, see you in the next videos.